the U.S. is partly responsible for the Holocaust. We've already talked about how the U.S. Congress severely restricted Polish Jewish immigration in the 1920s after a Red Scare. By 1939, the head of U.S. immigration was anti-Semitic. The question is, why wouldn't we let the Jews into the United States who were trying to escape Hitler? The reason was so we were, we'd already passed laws to severely limit their quotas. And then Hitler told his Nazi hordes to be ruthless and merciless in Poland, to kill as many men, women, and children as possible for living room for the Germans. I heard about this living room for Hitler when I was little. I never dreamed that they killed seven million Poles, three million of whom were Jewish. And so half the people killed in the Holocaust were Polish. There were three million three hundred thousand Jews in Poland at the time Hitler took over approximately. The three hundred thousand left after the war, four hundred thousand came here which is really the paradise, the promised land. 100,000 were scattered to the four corners of the earth. And then the last 100,000 went to Palestine, which is now Israel. Hitler had exterminated 91% of the Jews in Poland, which at one time had been a paradise for them. In the year 1025, for hundreds of years. So the saying there are no Jews in Poland, after the war, it's true. Although we hear there is a small revival going on today. If the U.S. had allowed Polish Jews to come here in the 1920s, we could have saved them, too. Alan Dulles, CIA, betrays humanity. Truman started the CIA in 1947. But he didn't want a domestic Gestapo running around. As though that this were not bad enough, the Dulles brothers were involved in lying Hitler's bill of billions by way of vice and corrupt banks in a shell game that went from New York to Berlin to Rotterdam. Fritz Thyssen was moving their money back and forth from banks started by August Thyssen after World War I. Then in 1947, Alan Dulles became the first chief of the CIA. His first act was to hire Hitler. Master Spy against the Russians, General Reinhard Galen, who started the Cold War pretty much single handedly by telling us they had 175 battle ready divisions ready to take over Europe and bomb the US and UK, which was a lie. Hitler had had a plan to keep fighting the Soviets even though he was losing the war. He knew in 43 he was losing the war. And uh, he told the Nazis to surrender to us to tell us they weren't really Nazis, but just extremely anti communists. So, General Galen, along with 4,000 other Nazis, were smuggled into Fort Hunt, Virginia, probably by U boats, because a U boat could carry 50 Nazis, for example, 50 top Nazi officers went to Argentina on a U boat. Some say they came in on airplanes, they were given U.S. Army uniforms. Smuggled into Fort Hunt. General Galen was given $200 million, which he used to activate an army of spies in the Soviet Union. Hitler's plan was to create a famine in the Soviet Union to starve 40 million Soviets to death. Some of these Nazis were SS and Gestapo, who had been involved in the Holocaust. They were wanted in Poland and Russia. They should have been turned over to the Russians, which Eisenhower had promised to do. And they would have been tried at Nuremberg. And Hitler knew he was losing the war in 43 but to keep fighting the Soviets by creating a famine to starve the Russians to death and enslave the rest. He told them to say they were not really Nazis, but just extremely anti communist So not only were we part of the Holocaust, we started the Cold War with the, the Nazis left over. 